One reason web stories are great is that you don't have to be a developer in order to make them. You can use one of many available visual editors to create your stories. But which one is the right one for you? Today we're going to have a closer look at one of the most popular editors out there, Make Stories. Brief disclaimer. My team here at Google developed the Web Stories for WordPress editor, so I might be biased. However, I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all editor that is perfect for everyone. And thus, in these Editor Spotlight episodes, I want to help you figure out the right editor for your use case. I'll structure my thoughts on the Make Stories editor into these three categories. Usability, Features and Publishing. Let's jump into the editor. The first thing you see after you clicked on Create a new story is an empty story page in the middle. On the left side, you have access to all the main controls. Make Stories has them separated into the items Background, Templates, Text, Layers, Media Library, Elements, Audio, and there's an option to embed tweets. Once you've started to add elements to your page, the controls on the right-hand side activate and you can use them to customize things like colors, strokes, and fonts. From the first click on Create a new story to the click on the Publish button to attaching metadata to the story, the app tries to naturally guide you through each story creation step. And I think overall that works very well. The only reason that Make Stories can at times feel overwhelming is because it is packed with so many features. Meaning that sometimes you will be looking for something like the Layers panel a bit longer than you would want to. However, once you've built a story or two, this will fade quickly. Make Stories definitely enables you to go all out with your stories and supports you in staying in control over your design even when your page is packed with elements. For example, through the use of layer groups. It also has a searchable media library where you can organize your media and folder. If you are experienced with using software like Photoshop, using Make Stories will be easy. If you don't, then using Make Stories will not be hard, but it might take a bit longer to get the hang of it. Now I said Make Stories has many features, and I mean many features. The app delivers all the basics that you need to design a marvelous web story, like a drag and drop interface, fonts library, stock photos, and then adds a cherry on top. For example, you can not only use pre-made templates, but also create your own template. You can not only add GIFs, but also add stickers. And in addition to an existing font library, you can import your own custom fonts to really make your story your own. In general, Make Stories offers a huge selection of different pre-made design assets. Additionally to the media libraries that I already mentioned, Make Stories features a variety of textures that you can use for your backgrounds and shapes, illustrations and gradients that you can often further customize and use as design elements. And for that final touch-up, there's a filter tab to adjust your photos. If you're working with multiple people in your team, then Make Stories got you covered. Multiple editors can work at one story at the same time to share the workload. The editor also supports Google Analytics and you can set up advertising. But I should mention that adding ads to your story will still require a little bit of code. Now you've used all these features to create a beautiful story. How do you publish it with Make Stories? Basically in any way you want. You can publish it to your own website via FTP, you can export a zip file and host directly on your site, or you can connect your WordPress blog and among other options, also just publish it to a short link. You don't even need your own website. Additionally, you can export your story pages as PNG files to use them for social media. As I said earlier, Make Stories will guide you step by step and this doesn't stop here. Before you get to hit the Publish button, you will be automatically asked to fill out important metadata, which might feel a bit annoying, but it is in your very best interest. Without metadata, your story will likely not be seen by many readers, so you want to do your homework. To summarize, there's a lot to like about Make Stories, but there are a few areas that could need improvement. One thing I noticed is that the preview story function is sometimes a bit buggy and it takes a while to display a correct preview of your story. Also, Make Stories avoids black bars at the top and bottom of the page on long phones, but at the expense of slightly distorting certain elements like shapes. Overall, I think Make Stories is really powerful, but is it right for you? If you want maximum flexibility and lots of bells and whistles, then yes, absolutely but it comes at the expense of a more streamlined UI experience that editors like Newsroom AI or Web Stories for WordPress offer. Especially for beginners, the dashboard might need some time to get used to, but you get the hang of it eventually. Now, after spending some time with the Make Stories editor, I was getting really curious about what's next for Make Stories. And I'm happy that Pratik, CEO of Make Stories, was nice enough to answer a few questions for us. So keep an eye out because we're going to publish this soon on the channel. Are you a tool maker yourself or know about a tool that we should talk about? Let us know in the comments. Onwards.